Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I want to address a few things. Um, first, let me tell Ackerman, if you get a show going with all of your artwork, I will make every effort to be there. I think it's a great idea for all of us to come together. The second thing I want to address is this panel at the University of Oregon. As it turns out, uh, Rick Gold did not get asked by the University of Oregon to convene a panel on nuclear. Uh, he asked them. And he didn't actually ask anybody in authority. He asked some students putting it together. So, And they said, yeah, that'd be a great idea. So then he called me. And I was, I don't know, I heard him say that we've been asked to put together a panel on nuclear. So in the course of doing this, I, I asked Tom Carpenter of the Hanford Challenge if he could do this. I sent him an email. And he said, no, he can't. He's already on two panels. But it's not on nuclear, but it's two panels, which I thought was interesting. So I wonder what he's going to talk about. Um, he did lead me to Chuck from Physicians for Phys Oregon Physicians for Social Responsibility. And we've been having a little bit of dialogue. I was frankly flabbergasted when he told me that the Pacific Ocean was not being impacted by Fukushima, that the radioactive nuclides were not heavy enough, they fell to the bottom, that the tritium dissipates, that there's really no problem. The ocean is way too big to be affected. Mm -hmm. So then I sent him some articles about how we can't detect what's going on and how the industry prevents real science from happening. And his response was, well, you know, I don't think we should whitewash all the world's problem with Fukushima, and, um, you know, we, we're we going to hurt the cause by saying that the Pacific Ocean is harmed because we don't have any proof. Well, I sent him back an email and said, the cause is humanity. The cause is getting science back into science instead of being lackeys for the military. Well, I didn't put it in those words, though. Um, it really kind of upset me, to be honest. Like, he, he, this is a person who's going to be on our panel, on our nuclear panel. The title of the panel that I created, which both he and Tom Carpenter thought was quite clever, it's called um, Nuclear Pollution Exacerbates Climate Change. Because I believe that there is... No way that four years of nuclear pollution, and not just nuclear pollution, I mean meltdowns, five nuclear plant meltdowns pouring into the Pacific Ocean are not affecting climate change. The methane gas is escaping from the bottom of the ocean. Okay, if the nuclear, if what Chuck says, the nuclear contamination falls to the bottom of the ocean, he says, well, they're not really hot. They're not like hot like we think of them. So, but I just don't get that. Like, I know I'm not a science person and I don't understand anything about nuclear physics, but it's just common sense. It's seriously hardcore common sense. Nuclear pollution kills. And it doesn't just kill human beings and it doesn't maim us. It give, makes us sick. I mean, the animals are dehydrated. I read an article today uh, that was on E&E &E News, and I clicked the link from the Orange County Register. And I actually called the man from Mars, Mammal, what's it called? Mammal Animal Rescue. And he is the man, he picked up 86 sick pups this year, just this year. And they're really, he said, it's really sad. And I said, look, the lab where you get them tested, because in the article it was talking about uh, El Nino or La Nina. And I said, does the lab test for radiation? He's like, I don't think so. I said, well, why don't you ask? So I sent him an email also, a big long email with lots of links, because I think this man who's out there rescuing these animals is swimming around in a fucking pollution, polluted ocean with maybe not enough protection on him. I mean, the worst thing you do with radiation is get it into your system, which is why the fish are, you know, if it stays outside, you can live with the tritium exposure relatively, from what I understand. But I have to say, today took its toll on me with all these conversations, internet conversations, telephone conversations. 
it it actually really like this is gaslighting. This is the picture of gaslighting where we have scientists, physicians regurgitating the bullshit without even having a critical thought in their mind like they went huh that's an interesting concept nuclear pollution exacerbates and they were like well I wonder how that would work they're like because it's not like it's hot they were trying to think it through in the conversation I'm like how can you possibly think that probably the worst contaminated element we've ever discovered is not going to harm the ocean and it's not being stopped for four years and we're just we're acting like oh radiation is no big deal the government just raised the radiation limits like and there's no discussion that there is no safe level of radiation that that number was picked out of a hat and said boom we think this many people are going to die, and this is how much profit we're going to make. We think it's worth the risk, like they do in the pharmaceutical industry. I mean, American business, American capitalism is immoral. The way we have run this country has just been despicable. I mean, there's nothing wrong with capitalism if it has a moral tenor to it. You know, we need to have a capitalistic society that says, hmm, if we're going to harm society, we better not do it. It's not money for everything. It's not money for nothing. Right now, we're not paying money for nothing. We're paying money for everything. Money is taking its toll on all life on this planet. And the reason that I'm driven to read this book, to participate, to make my little skits, which I'm hoping to do one soon, I have one in my head that I want to do to call these people that I don't even know and sound like a blithering idiot. They all give me that. Ha, 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 you're so not a scientist kind of tone. Like, fuck you. Like, when are these people going to decide that they want to live and start having some critical minds in back of their heads? It was hard. And I just want people to know that I'm not so sure that the nuclear panel at the UFO will be even approved. I honestly don't think it was an oversight. I think they intentionally do not have a nuclear panel at the University of Oregon. This, this thing has been going on every, every year. It goes on every year. The Environmental Law Conference here in Eugene, Oregon, it's a big deal. It's very well respected. For goodness sakes, Tom Carpenter from the Hanford Challenge is on two panels. There's no mention of Fukushima as if it's not a big deal. You think that's an accident? I don't. Cha-ching. General Electric wins again. Who are these people at General Electric who make these decisions? That's what I want to know. I mean, they too must be brainwashed. They're making really horrible decisions. And I honestly, like, I'm not hysterical about it. Like, I just want solutions. I know we're not going to die off quickly. But we are getting sick. The animals are getting sick. We need the bullshit to stop. And we need the scientists to start using their fucking noggins, man. Like, to spurt out that bullshit. That, that hurt my feelings. Like, it was like stabs. I mean, no wonder Kevin starts cussing and yelling and screaming and he can't stand the soft-spoken... You know, the whole thing is, is they're worried about their professional, you know, they want their reputation saved. They don't want to, they don't want to sound bad or, you know, be hysterical. Well, for God's sakes, we've had 60 years of not being hysterical and allowing the military and the nuclear industry to just lie to us and harm our children, cause mutations, genetically change everything, and... We have the worst catastrophe going on in the history of mankind, and the media acts like it's no big deal. The scientists act like, hmm, not that bad. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. I don't care. It is devastating for me to have to live through this. It's really like, you know what, I, I can keep getting back up. That's the bottom line. I know I can keep getting back up. Because I have the spirit of the universe inside me. I have enough love for even the people that are trying to harm us. I don't come at this with a negative heart. And I know we'll find solutions.
So I'm going to end here, and I guess I'm just spouting because I just, uh, I needed people to know about this nuclear panel. I would be shocked if it actually transpires. Although we could probably work towards next year because we know Fukushima is going to only be ragingly worse. Maybe by next year they'll be willing to admit it. Who knows? So anyways, you guys, I'm going to end here. Sweet dreams. Put your courage feet on. Be happy. Remember the saying, happiness is resistance. <laughs> they want us to be miserable. So I refuse to be miserable. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to press on. Ciao.